game does not crash, apparently it does not. So welcome everybody, this is gonna be the first game in a best of seven in between uh, Admiral Yi Sun Shin and Richard the Lionheart as part of a Hidden Cup free show match. The identity of the players is unknown to everybody, including the players themselves. And we are seeing Chinese mirrors here on Arabia. Rich will be playing uh, in blue on the left side and right side is Admiral Yi. And what stands out is that he's kind of far away from the edge of the map. So what I wanted to point out before uh, we get deeper into this series. Now we are actually seeing a series in which the new balance is used. The qualifiers had the old balance being utilized, but now it's the new patch being used. And also, there were some minor modifications to the maps, so we will see that in the high tide game, that uh, they are playing a somewhat newer version of the maps. And uh, that could implicate a few changes in strategies. Anyways, <clears throat> interesting to see that we are seeing Chinese mirrors on Arabia, but Chinese overall is a very good Arabia set. And more importantly, we have El Dorado banned out as a map, and El Dorado is probably the most reasonable place to use Chinese. Um, in this tournament. So with no Eldorado, it's quite reasonable to have uh, quite reasonable to have Chinese available on Arabia. Is laming allowed? Um, I think it's not. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it appears that it is not an allowed uh, thing. I will check, uh, check it in the AOE zone post, but I don't think it's allowed. It wasn't allowed in the qualifiers and I would be heavily surprised if they changed that rule for the main event. Anyways, um, looking at the map of Rich over here in blue on the left, um, he's going to be able to wall it off over here on the left side, securing this gold. He might not even want to contest this gold, even though if he can wall here, it would be very nice. That would secure double golds. But worst case scenario, he can wall in between the gold and the wood, and like this, and he's still going to have a gold available to him. Stone is also quite nice for him, which is nice for a Chinese player, because he could think about switching to early two canoes. So wall off here and wall off here. And you basically have a gold available to him. Stone is also quite nice for him, which is nice for a Chinese player, because he could think about switching to early two canoes. So wall off here and wall off here. And you basically have uh, gold and stone available. Might even see a Drush FC crossbowman play here from him and then switch into two canoes. Um, that could be a reasonable approach here for Richard, because he has a good map for a Drush FC type of a play. On the other side, Admiral Yi... Uh, I don't like this map that much, to be honest. The stone is quite exposed. The bigger concern is that the gold is all exposed, basically. Neither of them are easy to wall. I guess for Yi, he will have to wall something like this in an L shape, in between the stone and this wood line, and like this, to make sure the gold is safe. And since we are talking about Chinese as your opponent, you can't just wall using the gold itself and the mine behind, because there's a high chance that you will probably see archers uh, coming your way. So, you will have to wall this wall... wall what? You have to wall this gold around, otherwise you are going to be in big trouble. Um, pushing the deer towards the TC is Admiral Yi to start off with. And meanwhile on the other side, um, where is the mill at? Okay, there is the mill coming in. Three villagers only on wood for Richard, and that means that he's apparently going for scouts here. A somewhat surprising move, considering that his base is definitely suitable, like I said, for a Drush FC crossbowman type of a play. Maybe Man at Arms Archers is reasonable as well, uh, but... I would say Drush of the Crossbows is just much more reasonable um, to me with this kind of a map. But he's going to go for the Scouts opening. And meanwhile, on the other side of things, Admiral Yi uh, appears to go for Forum Wood. Could be anything, basically, right now, with the exception of Scouts. Um, could be Drush of C, could be um, a focus on uh, Mantom's Archers. The interesting thing to point out is that he's pushing the deer. So when not scouting at 6 minutes, this is not going to be a Drush coming up from Admiral Yi. So I'm more about thinking either Manatron's Archers or straight up Archer is gonna be the plan here. No Voyager is still going for Brax, so high chances for a which would be somewhat of a head scratcher to be honest, because his map is not very suitable for such an approach. Meanwhile, neither of the players warding themselves at all, so both players playing open. That should benefit Richard, to be honest, because he's gonna be probably up faster. Uh, but ends up going for a quite late click up here. What's the plan here, Richard? This is super, super slow for a scout's opening, but he just had free on wood initially, as we're finally gonna have Admiral Yi finding the town center of his opponent. He's gonna turn back, and uh, he is unable to pick off a Voyager over here because this Voyager does have Loom, so this is not going to happen here for Admiral Yi. Both players click up at uh, fairly identical times. What is interesting is that uh, Admiral Yi does have one extra Voyager. I don't know how he pulled that off, but Seems like Richard had more idle time than he wanted, and that's not a great start for a blue here. Like, 21 villagers will have same feudal age time as compared to Admiral Yi, who is doing 22 villagers, 
and this appears to be indeed just uh, straight up archers for him. Barracks will come up over here, followed by probably one range, maybe even double ranges, but I would think that uh, it's probably going to be range and blacksmiths. There's the Barracks coming up for Richard as well. So, for Richard, I still stand by my decision to say that this is going to be a scout opening. You also have to account for the Chinese Voyager bonus at the start, so this is why the Voyager counts would be still messed up. Um, and that might be the reason why he's getting up a bit too late for a scout's opening. But I would say that uh, this is still a fairly reasonable quick-up time, especially for uh, Admiral Yi, who does have, like I said, one extra Voyager compared to um, Blue. And both players do have Loom, so it's not a difference in between the players in terms of uh, having Loom accessible to them. So, with it... It's time for a stable, indeed, for Richard. So, I was just tricked by the Voyager counts because of the Chinese, but the Chinese, but this will end up being a standard-ish scouts build coming up from uh, Richard. He's gonna fall to the left, as expected, alongside the middle as well, and he's just gonna fall here um, to finish it off. It, he's gonna be fully walled, and that means that uh, it appears that Yi is also going for uh, scouts. Now, I don't blame him for doing that, to be honest. Uh, especially with such a bad gold, but 22 Voyagers, Scouts, feels weird to me. Anyways, um, we are going to have uh, some Scouts plus Spears combat over here. The interesting thing is going to be that Richard will be fully walled by the time Admiral Yi's Scouts will arrive, and that means that, uh, well, Green is not going to be able to do any kind of damage to his opponent over here. It is going to be all about Richard trying to harass Green, and Admiral Yi is playing wide open. His gold is exposed, his lumberjacks are exposed, of course quick walls could save him, but I feel like playing this open when your opponent is also going for scouts is very very dangerous, and uh, for Admiral Yi, he will not be able to do any, any kind of that. Ah, retry. He will not be able to do any kind of damage. So, three scouts moving inside here for Richard, I don't think that he has a lot of scouting information, in fact he has. He does see the gold mine, he does see the double wood lines, and he's gonna go on the initial wood line of his opponent. Will be spotted by Admiral Yi, I'm almost certain indeed. Let's see if Quick Wars will arrive or not, nice Quick Wars there from Yi, and his villagers on the wood line will be fully walled. Berry villagers also dropping some walls, very nice kills there from Admiral Yi. Uh, and remember, uh, about predictions, this guy can wall quite nicely, but does not like war maps. That's something to um, take a look at. Oh, Robo, thanks for answering the question. So, laming is allowed, and that's going to be a Voyager pick coming up here from Rich. Uh, but he's going to end up bumping into a spin over there, losing some HP. He might even be able to pick off this Voyager, because the other forces from uh, Admiral Yi is so far away. He is going to be fully walled at some time, but losing one Voyager is a quite significant... Losing one Voyager is a quite significant deficit to overcome now. So... We will have four scouts available for Richard, but he's fully bold. And, uh, well, Admiral Yi is behind by a villager now, which is a significant deficit, like I said. Anyways, um, this spearman is going to go down, and Admiral Yi finally moving inside. So far, if I had to make my prediction on Admiral Yi, I would say it's MBL. But, of course, that can change, and... I'll probably have like 15 different people as my predictions coming up here right now. This is interesting though, there is the scouts running inside, Spearman and TC will be more than enough to push them away. And number advantage on the side of Admiral Yi, so he wants to engage this one. With Spearman coming inside, this is not something that Richard can fight. There is the next Spearman Narino moving inside. Oops, can you stab? Nope, no stab Rinos. Anyways, um, Richard already consumed his berries, that's a bit fast consumption of those berries, as there is indeed going to be the archer switch coming in here, so scouts into archers. Definitely a reasonable way of playing things, and I would expect the same thing from Admiral Yi, because uh, in Chinese mirrors you are probably better off with the archer plays instead of going for scouts into knights. So, both players dropping their archer ranges. Um, it's worth pointing out that Richard is actually hiding his... Uh, hiding his uh, archer range over here on the left. This is uh, a bit of a Hera move. And... Uh, of course, this is not a very, very confirmed thing, but Hera does this very frequently, that he hides his switch behind his walls. I've casted a large number of Hera games in recent times, and that is just a so common thing to see here from Hera. Now, there is one Spearman protecting this Voyager over here, but the Scouts might be able to pick it off. Um, let's see, the Spearman is going down, but reinforcements will arrive just in time, so the walls will probably go up over here, especially with Rich not paying attention to his Scouts, so he's going to be forced back for now. Archers coming for both players, the second range is going to be a bit uh, later for Admiral Yi here. But anyways, um, let's see, cancellation times, 
uh, Richard on this stunt. Meanwhile, for Admiral Yi, this seems like a faster click up possibility uh, for him very soon in this one. So, four villagers deficit for Admiral Yi, um, probably because of Wheelbarrow that is also playing a role in this one. But it's more about uh, the fact that uh, he has lost one villager, which is going to be a significant deficit, like I said. So, with that, there is going to be um, the scouts bashing their way through this gate. No damage is done, but at least Richard will actually spot that there is archers which coming uh, against him. <clears throat> Meanwhile, on the other side of things, there is going to be um, double range archers production. There is no blacksmith from uh, Rich, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, there is no blacksmith. Probably the blacksmith will come up at the left side to reinforce this wall and make sure there is going to be no entry on that wall. And it appears that uh, Richard will wait with his archers until he goes to Castledge and use them as crossbows. Uh, and meanwhile, Admiral Yi is pushing forward. He, st he still has a bunch of scouts. And more importantly, he's going to have a significant advantage going into Castledge. So this is going to be a major, major advantage. And I'm not sure if uh, Richard is going to be able to protect his base against this one. Richard is still trying to hide the archer switch, by the way. So if you take a look at the map, Richard has no archers out there on the field. So... Admiral Yi still is not sure if his opponent is going to go knights or is, if his opponent is going to go for uh, archers. Trying to scout that with the leftover scouts he has and he's just going to bump into a few spearmen to uh, rush back. But, well, he probably suspects an archer switch because he does not see a second stable. It would make sense to drop a second stable close to your wall so you can pop out those knights uh, straight away. So I would say that... Uh, Admiral Yi is probably aware of his opponent switching into archers as well, but he's going to have a decent uh, advantage going into Castle Age. Where are the archers at, though? They're just moving out. Uh, military numbers better for Admiral Yi, though. Wait, no. Uh, it's better for Richard. Richard. Richard with 20. And that's going to be a lot of archers. So, unless Admiral Yi can do damage in the next one or two minutes, the military advantage is going to be on the side of Richard because he's going to have uh, a lot more crossbows available to him. Also, he does have archer armor, that's something to point out. Admiral Yi already has researched archer armor as well. He's gonna go for crossbowman and botkin arrow here, and those archers will just pick off that spearman very easily. So, these scouts will have very little chance of actually being able to do uh, major damage to this army right now. And it is gonna be Richard who has to second this wall. I think there might be a hole right next to the house and in between the wood line and the house. And with the crossbows here, with the scouts here, this is gonna be a very, very uh, fast gate destruction here for green. And indeed, there is a hole, and this is the time, like I said, you have one minute to do damage. This is the uh, one minute I was talking about. Archers will have to pop up, but this is a bad fight for Richard. He's losing his military advantage here because he's fighting with plus one, plus one archers against the uh, almost fully upgraded Castle Age crossbowman. Uh, there is going to be crossbowman and Botkin are finally coming in, but I think um, Richard has lost some precious numbers. And this basically means that 